This is our second book that was donated to our classroom. It's called I Am Perfectly Designed by Caramo, Caramo Brown with Jason Rachel Brown, illustrated by Anusha Seed. I hope I'm pronouncing everyone's name right. You know, we're learning. And if you know how to pronounce their name and I'm pronouncing it wrong, please teach me. It's very important that we say everyone's name correctly. And on the back of the book, you can see it says, an ode to loving who you are exactly as you are. And then, remember how I was talking about the book jacket? Take off the book jacket, look. It's pretty neat, the people disappear. Pretty cool. All right, I am perfectly designed. Ooh. And this was donated from a Mr. Melvin C. Jones. Thank you, Mr. Melvin C. Jones. This book is dedicated to every child and adult who has ever felt different or not good enough. You can have the life you want and deserve because you have the tools to attain it. That means get it, to do it. You are perfectly designed. And please never forget that. Love KB and JB. That was dedicated to us. That means that the people who wrote this book were thinking of us when they were writing it. I am perfectly designed. First, there was you, Dad. Then there was me. And now there is us. That's right. Now there is us. Mmm, yummy pancakes. When you first saw me, you said, he is perfectly designed from his head to his toes. And I meant every word, still do. When I was a baby, I looked just like you. Only I had no hair and you had lots. Now it's the opposite. So true. The first thing I remember is being carried on your shoulders while you walked me all over the city. Remember that? I had such a big baby head. Indeed, but your big baby head was perfectly designed for you. When I was real little, I thought I could touch the moon. Remember that? We'd sit on the roof and I'd reach for it. One day you'll be big enough to reach it yourself. But until then, it's perfectly fine to ask for help. Remember when we went as syrup and waffles for Halloween, Dad? Ha, I do, I do. That was awesome. I wonder what will be this year. When I run in the park, jump in the park, climb trees in the park, and pretend I am a statue in the park, you remind me I am perfectly designed to explore the world. You are, and you always will be. Sometimes, Dad, when I get mad or sad, or confused. You wrap me in your arms. I like that. Me too. And I remind you that you are perfectly designed and wonderful, no matter what you're feeling.
Dad, 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 when I grow up and leave home, will you miss me? Will you go into my room and play with my race cars and stuffed animals? You know I will. Will you sit on the fire escape and feed the pigeons like we do in the summer? The pigeons and the sparrows. Will you remember our favorite moves? Let's see the music. I will, and I'll invent some new ones too. Dad, 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 will you always think of me? Always. You know what, Dad? What? I will always remember walking through the city and sitting on your shoulders. And maybe when you're older and I'm taller. Dad, dad, dad. Something's coming. I can carry you on mine because we are perfectly designed for each other. That's right. What a nice family. And here is the real family. Dear reader, it has always been a dream of mine to write a story inspired by the many lessons my father has taught me. When I was growing up, any time I felt fear or uncertainty, my father would remind me that I was perfectly designed. Knowing that at an early age really instilled self-love and confidence in me, which had been hard to find on my own. Now that I'm older, it's easier to walk with my head out pr held proudly. My father and I felt it was only right to give this message to you. We want readers to never forget that just being your natural self is perfect. It is beautiful in every sense. We know how hard it is to think otherwise, but you can't stop telling yourself this until you feel it. Like everything in life, it takes some time, but with repetition, you will learn to walk with your head held high, higher than the Eiffel Tower, Jason Brown. That's exactly right. Caramel Brown. Look at all the different types of families. So cool. Give it a round of applause for I am perfectly designed Thank you for our donation. I love that story. It's so great. I hope you did too.